You are now listening to Hong Kong 2, the only podcast sanctioned by People's Republic of China, featuring Chris Lynch and Benjamin Taylor. Benjamin Taylor. You ever really, you ever look at numbers? I want to have two. I want to have two simultaneous timers going because it's fun. Do I ever look into numbers? Yeah. Do you ever look into number? Not like um, <coughs> not Gematria. No, not any of the queer. <coughs> Did you say any of the queer? No, none of the queer like number numerology, like girl astrology, m- mysticism, none of that stuff. Okay. Um, but wouldn't, more wouldn't, so, wouldn't like, go as far as to say it's queer. But continue. Well, I'm saying like. Not like angel numbers, but I'm talking about yeah. like you ever look at numbers. That's like, queer. Angel numbers are pretty gay. Yeah, but do you ever look at numbers like, like oh the number seven? That's like looks cool. Oh, totally. Like, like it's the, seven, the aesthetic, seven, the aesthetics of a number. Yeah, seven is like seven is like hard. Seven is hard. If seven was a guy, he would be a bully probably. Yeah, six and eight, they're very round. They're boob. They're like boobs. Yeah, but eight also strikes me as very hard. Because it's infinity. Yeah, and also he's, like, bigger than seven. Oh, he's a guy. Oh, for sure. Nine is a chick. Uh-huh. Six is a chick. Five is nine, a chick. Nine is a chick. Nine is well, a seven, chick. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, well, that's... Seven, eight, is nine. Is that a joke? You're joking. I well, get it. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm using that joke, but right. seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I get it. Like, is, if seven... So eight, so se- uh, eight is, a du- is a dude? Eight's definitely a dude. Are you kidding me? Eight's a dude, nine's like, a chick, six is a chick, five is a chick, four is a guy, three is a guy. You think five's a chick? Oh, hell yeah. Are you kidding me? Why? Maybe you, not. Why? Maybe five is like trans or like non-binary. It's hard to tell. Uh, five, I guess, I mean, at first glance it looks like a chick, but I mean, it could be a dude. Five, five's like very like masculine in the sense that like, I don't know, a homeless person would be like, you got five bucks? That's yeah. not masculine, that's feminine. If a, if a homeless guy chat, is, let us know if five is a masculine or a feminine number. Oh, I was I was gonna say we could do Collins, but I've it's too late. It's too late, and then also I was trying to set up the Google Voice thing. <coughs> <coughs> I forgot which email I hooked it up to. Uh, so now I'm like, next time we'll figure it out. Next yeah, time I'll, fi- I'll have to figure that out. But um, yeah, I'm, yeah, uh, Collins are cool. I like Collins, but we should uh. Yeah. We don't we'll do have that to next do time. that we'll do next time. I know. Um, I know. If uh, you do on the Patreon, we'll get some real, the real deal fan calling. for sure. I saw a tweet today about um, McDonald's uses human flesh as their for their meat. Did you mm-hmm. see that? No. The the going theory is that you know how their slogan is "billion served." Oh, they've uh-huh. served billions, <laughs> billions of humans. Yeah, that's a, that's that sounds like a wives' tale. I mean, the arches. Is there like the number three sideways? Oh, oh. think about it. You don't think that you and don't think three three is like the fire, the sun, the Holy Spirit so, <laughs> upside so down. It's, like a, it's a holy. Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's the devil. That's right. Oh, that's easy. Imagine being like schizophrenic. I actually like, don't know if that's what a no, three means. No, it's but. completely bullshitting. But imagine like schizophrenics who can like, they can talk their way out of anything. Yeah, schizophrenics. They'll, like, they'll schizoph- disprove something and they're like, no, because you're looking at the number sideways and it's not. Right, right. right. You know they're pretty saying? funny, yeah. Because they're gung-ho about uh, the, uh, being correct. They Well, people hate to be incorrect. It's true. But especially I don't mi- a schizophrenic person. I don't yeah. think they can be incorrect. They just wouldn't allow it. I don't mind being not correct. If I if I say something, if I butcher something, I'll I'll be like, yeah, I don't know if I got that right, guys. Uh, I mind being correct. I should be I I should be correct twenty four hours a day, every day mm. of my life. Mm. Because being correct is is cool. Okay, I'm not gonna jump around in the streets. Get your fucking hands out of your crotch. What my balls itch? What do you want? You me do to that say? every episode. Because my dick itches, Chris. Why is that? I don't know, probably because it's so big and it, it's, it's so full of shit. <laughs> it's not full You of wipe sh- your butt and it gets in your balls. <laughs> you go like that and it gets in your balls. <laughs> You're an idiot. And you have an infection. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> you have an infection. Dude, nobody wipes their ass like that. Ben's ball infection. Dude, you're, you are... First of all, I wouldn't wipe Jeez. my ass from the front backwards. 
I wipe my ass from, from the, the back fucking... front. Or do you just go inward? Do you just, do you <laughs> just, just go, go in this? there and just start digging in there? <laughs> yeah. I That's just, the way to do it. I actually twist it. Oh, yeah, for so, sure. So it's extremely it's narrow. Yeah, it's like a dildo. And then, and then I insert it into my ass. You, you'll be in there for days. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's why it takes me so long to come out of the bathroom because I have a very involved wiping process. It's good you're clean. It's good you like to be clean. Have you ever used a bidet? Yes. Do you like bidets? Yes. Well, they're a little gay, but they they do the they do the oh, job. Oh, they're great. They're great. A warmed bidet. No, cleans in your asshole. Aren't Japan? And I'm I'm sure in I don't mm-hmm. know where I've heard this. I think bidets are big in Japan now. Yeah, they have they have they have them in the McDonald's bathroom. Although yeah. I did not use the McDonald's bidet because it was kind of nasty, but the first time I ever used a bidet was at my my girlfriend's house, and I was like hesitant to use it for like months, and then I tried it, and it was like, it was like one step below prison rape, but it's does clean your ass. Yeah, it's good. But I'm probably not. I don't. I don't. I used it this morning because I shit a lot. It was brutal. I've been farting a lot as well. Oh, you know what that means. What? You're turning gay. <laughs> <laughs> you're really? realizing you're gay now. Is that really? Yeah. No, that's not. Because your asshole's like, call ben, it, ben, call it's it. time. Shut up, dude. That I'm is not joking. the case. Dude, first of all, I'm not gay. I'm just fooling around. I, we, we know you're not gay. But if I, was, if you were, but if I was, I would probably be, I would probably be a cool <laughs> gay. Now. It's not really a free country, though. Is it? Is freedom ever free? Is freedom really free, as they say? Freedom. Would freedom you, doesn't really. I mean, nah, that's not true. I'm, I feel pretty free right now. What if I told you there was freer countries than America? Uh, Would you believe me? Probably, yeah. What what countries are freer than America? I'd have to look it up, but I feel like there are some. There has to be. There's probably it depends on what you define as free. Free in the sense that you can live in a democracy and there there has to be a, a country with l- looser gun laws uh yeah that's gonna be hard to find let me look it up i'm curious as to what country has the most lenient gun laws probably somalia or i like afghanistan afghanistan is whoa pr- i typed in most lenient and the first suggestion is most lean lenient gun law states Oh wow! Most lenient gun law countries. That's that's interesting. I guess that shows where people's heads are at. Where's number one? We got Bosnia. We got France. Oh uh, yeah, my ass. France. Finland, Argentina. I can see that. Norway, Panama, Italy, Canada, Czech Republic, Switzerland. So where does America come into play? Canada? I don't know. I think that's cap. I don't think that list of reading think... is accurate. Just put that shit away. It's fine. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's fine. I'm sure there is a country that has more lenient gun laws, though. Yeah. Not like I would care to move there, even if I no, knew what it was. No. I like America. <coughs> Who doesn't? Uh, I, I think everybody likes America. Except for... um, Except for... Who? Everybody's pretty patriotic here. I think we've had. I think we're getting very unified late. I've been feeling very unified with all of my fellow countrymen. Really? Yeah. Every time I open Twitter and I see, uh, I see like some bullshit. <coughs> oh my god, dude! I just I need to get off Twitter probably. Yeah, I've been going less and less on Twitter. I don't like Twitter, man. It's not. It's not. It's like weird. the issue with Twitter is there's. It's all negative. Just all negative. Sometimes shit. it's funny stuff. I get caught up with uh, internet gossip, but it's not. I just don't. I don't want to hear about like P Diddy anymore. Like, yeah, or like LeBron James's bullshit. I just don't care about yeah. any of it. P Diddy, dude. Whatever. Don't even want to talk about it. Guess that, that Justin Bieber video is really weird. The He's one. Kidding. The one where um, he's it, like, he's like, why don't you want to hang out with me? No, no, not that one. There's one where like they're in a club, 
Uh-huh. And somebody pulls out their phone with the flash to take a video. And there's some black guy who's like, oh, shit, you're taking a video. And then from from the bottom, you see Justin Bieber's head come up as if he was, like, bl- implied, like, blowing him. Whoa. Oh, sure. I, I kind of want a lot. I want kind of want a live oh play. Oh, my play. God. Are you least. actually going to be able to find that? It might be, like, banned. No. Somebody just sent it to me, like, recently. Is this gonna is this gonna be another one of those things where you're on your phone for like no, two minutes? No, no, it's, it's right here. All right. Um, where is Ben? Ben, Ben, Ben. ben are you, ben, are you ben. sending it on Twitter? On uh, Instagram. Okay. It's on Instagram, believe it or not. That's funny. I right, sent it to you. All right, let's take a look. Oh, that's that's definitely. Wait, hold on. Ew. Ew, bro. Ew, Justin Bieber right. was sucking off. Ew. Right? That black dude was like, sh- like he was like, whoa. That's, that guy, is, his, 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 his like pseudonym is OBJ, but, and I think he's like a former football player. Oh, you recognized shit. him? Yeah, I recognize him. Because but you like, saw how he was like. He yeah, was like, oh, and sh- also like at the, for, at the beginning of the video, the back of his shirt comes up, and he's, mm. his pants are down. Mm-hmm. Which is probably another sign. So. Damn, that's fucked up. That's sad. So maybe Justin Bieber is like... He's been through some shit. Maybe he just needs a pass. Maybe he just needs to be told that everything's going to be okay. Remember remember when he was acting like a shithead and everyone hated him? Yeah. Remember Cut, Cut for Bieber? Cut for Bieber was fucking hilarious. That was so funny. I wonder how many girls actually cut themselves. Dude, that was like a 4chan thing. They they that started on 4chan. That's so f- as many things do. That's so damn funny, bro. Cut for Beaver. There was one like uh, they did another one. It was like shave your head for for. I don't think it was Britney. Who was it? They did some shave for, your head bullshit yeah. too. Remember uh, cut for Chris. Cut for Chris. Yeah, cut for Chris would be funny. Uh, you remember? Um, I forget that. Dude's name, but he was like, "Leave Britney alone." Oh, you're talking about um, what's that? <laughs> yeah, the gay guy, the fucking. He's a girl now. I think it was a girl then too. No, no, no it was a dude. It was a dude. Became a trans. Well, girl. Did they like get the surgery to have their dick removed? Uh, I don't know how far, but it's they pretty... got they got the works for sure. Ew. Leave Britney alone. That's an internet classic, classic, bro. That's a classic. There's a there's a lot of really funny classic. You you remember the the uh, karate compilation? It's called like Retarded Karate or something. No, I, was, remember, I remember Nigahiga though. Oh, Nigahiga was a badass. Nigahiga, dude. He now got, Nigahiga, I get them. I get him confused with uh, Rich Chiga. Really? They're different people. I know. They're that, okay. extre- yeah. Rich Trigger came like, and I, I, I get, I'm not trying to be racist. Like all Asian people. The no, same no, no. Way. That's cool. I, I don't get Nigga. He, bro, Nigga. He is a legend. <laughs> now it's Rich Brian or whatever. You know that now? Oh, uh, Rich wh- Trigger changed it to Rich Brian. Oh uh, yeah, because he was getting backlash for his name for Chiga. It's stupid. Yeah, he shouldn't have changed. He should have kept it. He should have kept it. What the fuck are they gonna do? Whatever, yeah, you know they were. He was a legend. Smosh was, Smosh was up back in the day. Yeah, Smosh was up. Smosh used to be pretty up. Philip DeFranco. Yeah, PewDiePie was the man. Oh yeah, for a long time until he said the N word on, on, on the bridge. Now it's like yeah, but somehow he ba- he bounced the fuck back from that. He lives in Japan now as a kid. He's such a badass, bro. Pewdie- we should get him on the podcast. You want to get PewDiePie on here? Episode 420, we'll get PewDiePie. Okay. I know he's a busy schedule. And I think he got dethroned by Mr. Beast. He did, but at that point, he seemed to have been, like... Stepping away. Yeah, I mean, how... I mean, he, how long... He had can, a good run. Yeah, how long, can you, how long can you make videos, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Before it becomes soulless. Yeah. He, uh... He had a good run. If you were a YouTuber, what would you, what would you make your YouTube name? Chris the Beast. Chris the Beast. Um, I don't know. <coughs> I mean, ideally, I would be Chris Lynch. Mm. Ideal, ideally, 
Would you do like a gaming intro for all of your videos? Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Chris Lynch. <laughs> yeah. Today yeah. we're playing Hell Divers. Yeah. Two. You should do like really funny, funnily edited gaming videos. That'd be fun. I don't know if I got. I don't know if I got it in me though. I ba I barely could do the the Silent Hill stream. That's pretty funny though. Yeah. Whatever. People, that was well received. Yeah, I know. Everybody everybody likes you, bro. They were like, where's Ben? I was like, I don't <coughs> know. Uh, ben is... Uh, Sleeping Ben probably. is indisposed at the moment. Yeah. I I could never do... Uh, oh God, live streams just like take it out of me, <coughs> to be honest. I mean, it wasn't that bad. Because I'm not constantly trying to like... I'm not trying to like be perform performative when I'm doing it. I'm just playing a game. Yeah. I'm trying to be a little funny. But I would do like story. I would do story live streams. Story? I could tell a story and make it stretch like, but I think the best stories are kept quick, secret, quick and to the point. But that as well. But you know my secret story. I know your secret story. You have a very funny secret story. Yeah, I have a funny secret. Can I tell what happened last night or no? Probably not. Um, no, at the bar? Yeah. No, no, no. No, I can't tell that? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, there's another funny secret story that you can't hear, courtesy of Chris it, Lynch. It would be fun. You'd have to be there. Okay. And know the circumstances. Yeah. All right. Anyways. Yeah. Oh, I want to talk about this on the pod. Uh, I bought a Steam Deck. Oh, yeah. So, hmm. if you guys want to... Add me on Steam Deck. Yeah, I, they just add you on Steam. Uh, you just add me on Steam. Yeah, it's a Steam Deck. It's it's. Uh, Y'all can add me on Steam if you want. I think it's Ben W. Bush. Okay. But I don't know if. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I'll play. I probably won't play with any of you. You're gonna be playing emulators. So I'm gonna be matter. playing emulators. I don't play with. I don't play with anybody. I well, I fell off video gaming so uh, hard. I don't even play with you or Jet anymore. So you're gonna play Wind Waker. I'm gonna play Wind Waker. I'm going to play. Shadow the Hedgehog, mm. which I'm actually very excited for. Mm. And that was one of my favorite games as a child. Damn. Okay. And I'm going to it's be, left field. I'm going to be playing Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Oh, excellent game! Because that game is also pretty badass. Excellent game. I love that game. I might even play that tonight, dude. That game is so fucking good. It's a great game. And I'll probably so that's Wind Waker, Shadow the Hedgehog, Paper Mario. And I think I also want to get Mario Sunshine. Okay, perfect. Those, so are, gonna like, go on a, those are like my starters right gonna there. Do, you're going to go on a, a GameCube run at first. <coughs> I think I'm doing a GameCube run, and then I might, I might throw it back. Throw it back to the 64. 64. No, 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 no. Not, not a game. You go N64 style? I'm going to do N64, and I think I'm going to run fucking Super Monkey Ball 64. There's no Super Monkey Ball 64. What was the Super? What was Super that? Mario 64? Not Super Mario. Wasn't there an N64 game where you're like a monkey in a ball? No. Are you thinking of Ape Escape on PS1? There's no Super Monkey Ball on uh, uh, N64. Uh, I thought there was. Well, There's Super Monkey Ball on GameCube. Nah, that's not what I'm thinking of. You're I'm, thinking of a monkey in a ball on N64. I think so. Uh, Anyways, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to just do it all. I think I'll just do it all, probably. I don't really have any interest in playing, like, actual Steam games on there. Yeah. I might buy Red Dead 2 on Steam. <coughs> Red just, Dead 2? Yeah, just so I could play it on the Steam Deck. It's fun. I'll probably buy Red Dead 2 and GTA 5. I think GTA 5. Don't you already have that on Steam? No, I have it on Rockstar. And I also have Red Dead 2 on Rockstar. <sighs> I bought those games before they got ported and like put on Steam. Oh. Or maybe I did. Maybe I maybe maybe Red Dead released on Steam and I just bought it on Rockstar. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I'm, I'm not even gonna play games on my Steam. Deck. I'm gonna hack it to use uh, FL Studio. I'm gonna start really? making beats. I you see me do that? <laughs> yeah. Have you? What on the Steam Deck? Yeah. Yeah. You can't make beats on a Steam Deck. Yep. Using what? FL Studio. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, you just use um, <clears throat> this software called Bottles, which is like Wine, which is a software that was on uh, Linux that 
allows you to play with uh run windows applications on linux what the um, fuck and uh yeah i'll show you i'll show you after the pod that's interesting i mean it's not very intuitive because you have to <coughs> <coughs> yeah that's crazy i was just i was just joking but that's that's interesting oh yeah what's like the most non video game thing you can do on the steam deck um probably watch porn <laughs> The most non-game thing you can do. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, um, like, can you break the file your taxes on a web browser? <laughs> file don't know. your taxes. Um, um, I mean, fuck. I guess nah, you, could. you can. Uh, <coughs> I'm not gonna do anything. Do a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna do anything. It's a great game. piece of hardware. I know, man. I'm fucking so pumped, bro. It's a great piece of hardware. I know. I cannot tell you how excited I am. That's good stuff. It's gonna be so badass. Yeah, you're gonna be excited. I want to play it right now. Can't. I remember when we went to, when we played uh, Wind Waker, you, we were starting out, but you named the character such a retarded name. What did I name we, it? We were drinking and you were like, named your, name the character in all caps, the boys. <laughs> like, no spaces, it was just the boys. Like, well, it was our shared account or yeah, something. Yeah, it was you and me. But every time, like, Somebody refers to Link, it just says the boys. <laughs> and I was bothering me so much. I'm like, this is retarded. <laughs> well, it was because it was you and me. We were I know, playing. but it's like, uh, we if it, if it was the account name, we could name it that because it's a shared account. But I, I don't want to link that. Yeah, the, the character you named, <laughs> the boys. I was like, dude, come on. I don't want to play this. So much. As the boys, I forgot that I was naming the character. I thought that was just like the profile. No, no, well, I get the, it. Though. Why the fuck would they change Link's name when we all know it's Link? Why would because they, they want it to be you? If you can be Ben, that's fucking stupid. It's Link. I know. It's, that's Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Link's Zelda. <laughs> Guys, if you didn't know this, okay, Link fucking is Zelda. Link is Zelda. Okay, his full name is Link Zelda. Everybody confuses the princess and says the princess is named Zelda. Zelda no, Zelda is just Link's last name. The princess is named Diane. Peach. <laughs> yeah, Peach. The princess is named Peach. Peach. We're drinking this really good mezcal. Yes, we're drinking this good mezcal. Illegal or illegal as the lesbian asshole uh, fucking liquor store worker would call it. In <laughs> Shout out to... Oh yeah, illegal. What's uh, what's it called <laughs> liquors? Uh, there's this fucking piece of shit, butch, non-binary person <laughs> that uh, I was like, could you could you recommend a tequila? And she's like, rep, well, re reposado or blanco? What's the price point? What's this? What's I know that? she's like, like gets so snippy. Whoa, slow down there, Mike. I know, uh, Mike. And then and then I'm like something like middle of the road, um, and then I was like, is there any ones that are like made locally? And she's like, um, all tequila is made in Oaxaca, Mexico, so there's no local tequila. And I was like, slow your roll, yeah, Mike. You should have slapped her across the face. Well, not like not game. like a hard slap. You should just be, like a come back to earth slap. Like kind of like go like this to her nose, like go like this, like. Or no, fuck my no like like you know how like old Italian guys will go like hey. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, hey. yeah. You should have like smacked her on the cheek. Yeah, I should have smacked her on the cheek. But um I was like, can I get a middle of the road sort of thing? So she gave me some bullshit. But she referred to this tequila the mezcal as illegal. Well, she's an <laughs> idiot. I think it's I think it's pronounced illegal, but who knows? There are idiots everywhere. Well, it is pronounced illegal because it, it it's there's fucking Spanish. It's only one L. There's fucking only one L. Or it to be illegal. Yeah. So she's just... <laughs> she's just um, illegal. Illegal. So anyways, shouts out to her. Uh, no, not shouts out to her. Shouts out to George Floyd's family, though. <coughs> After that day... The David the David Guetta thing, yeah. Yeah, for those of you guys who don't Did know, that happen like right after George yeah, Floyd that was died. Yeah, twenty twenty. For you guys that don't know what we're talking about, there was a there was a, a video of uh, David Guetta. 
David Guetta. Whatever his yeah. name is, the EDM artist. Mm. And he, um, right after the George Floyd thing, he was doing a set and he's like, I liked, I made a special r- record in honor of George Floyd. And I hope there could be more unity mm-hmm. in the world because it's always been so bad. So, mm. shouts out to his family. And yeah. Then he hits the drop. My favorite. That's my, the best, man. My favorite comment from that was, uh, <laughs> my favorite comment was that was, we don't give condolences, we give shout outs. Hey, man, he's, English isn't his first language, so I appreciate him, you know. I mean, stuff. I thought, I thought it was pretty funny, personally. Oh, it was one of my favorite videos, probably top. 15 favorite videos I think the best dude of that era was Avicii Rest his soul Bro Avicii was such a badass He died in a weird way Did Yeah I? I think he was like making a pedophile documentary About the Hollywood No he wasn't <coughs> no. He doesn't have time for that <coughs> I think he died in uh, In Africa Didn't he um Overdose or some shit I think he overdosed um RIP man Avicii He died in Oman Where's that Oman? Like Middle East Middle East. Whoa. Why was he in Oman? Hold on, death. Probably abducted. Um They're saying suicide. <coughs> I like Why that. was he in Oman? You know, that era of music was so badass. Why are you... It doesn't matter. It's fine. Why was he on... Probably touring. That's no place to tour. Anyways, go on. We can investigate after the pub. Yeah, you're right. Um, what were you I, saying, Sarf? I was saying I like that era of music a lot from like 2011 to 2014. Oh, yeah. The, there were some really good bangers coming out. Ten years ago? Dude, you know what song David Guetta made that I used to fucking love? The Titanium. I am Titanium. Oh, yeah. I used Bro. to hear that in malls a lot. When I was a kid, I remember I would like, I used to fucking cry to that song. Not like in a weird way, but sometimes I would hear that song as a child, and I'd be like, "The song is so incredible." Song speaks to me. No, it would. You never have. You never. You don't have a song that makes you cry from time to time. What about what's your favorite Meshuggah song? Oh, I mean, I have some songs that make me cry, but I'm not gonna talk about them, or else I'll start crying. Yeah, Titanium is so good. Purple Rain makes me cry. There's a part of Meshuggah song that kind of makes me cry. Really? Yeah, but it's so. Is it like the part where he goes? No, no. There's actually no singing in it. Oh, really? Real Mashuga fans know it's what part I'm talking about. Okay, all right. Anyway, um, <coughs> we apologize. For Sorry for coughing, for guys. Coughs. Sorry for um, coughing. I think uh, it's more annoying in port person than it is on audio, probably. Yeah, but it's still, it's annoying. Okay. I took a cough. I took like two cough drops today, and they didn't do shit. So no, I don't. Cough drops don't do shit. Cough drops are abs- cough drops are like gay. Totally yeah. pointless. It's, yeah. it's a money grab. Did you ha- think cough? Well, cough from drops. Halls. Yeah, cough drops might be a money grab. I suppose. You know, insurance. That might be a scam. Insurance. You, I was um, thinking about the. I was thinking about. No, I wasn't thinking about it because I don't really think about this. But I saw a tweet about. Uh, is like some stupid ass reaction tweet, but uh, it's about how like life. How uh, if you're if if you're running a life insurance company, you kind of want your customers to die so you don't have to. Wait, no, you want. Huh. If if somebody dies, if you, you have, don't want anybody to die, because then you'd have to pay out their insurance. If you're the insurance company, oh no, the, the tweet was it was when you get into a car crash and live, and the in your car insurance company realizes they have to pay out the bills, <coughs> the bills. 
and it's like them getting pissed. But I think that's now that I now that I say it out loud, that sounds like a pretty reasonable business deal, business transaction to me. Yeah, I I don't know really about the ins and outs of insurance, but you don't mind paying it. Um, I mean, God forbid I have some catastrophic like health thing happen that would cost a lot of money, and then my insurance makes it cheaper. Um, that'd yeah. be great, but. Yeah. I haven't had to use it yet, so what the fuck? Yeah, true. I don't know. Who who knows? I know in Rhode Island you have to have car insurance. <coughs> you definitely do. I think you have to have car insurance everywhere. <laughs> you think we could tone it down with the coughs? I look. If I could, I would. But um, you're not doing it on purpose, right? No, I'm not doing it on purpose. My fucking throat has phlegm in it. What do you think? I'm fake coughing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fake coughing. I've been fake coughing all day the past two weeks. <laughs> I'm a method actor. I'm a method cougher. You know, we might have to watch this reptile royal- royalty because it's being advertised so much. I I really am. It's making me want to watch it even less every time I see it. The way that that guy looks like uh, Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah, he looks the, like he's... The dude holding the crocodile. Yeah. Who, Shrek Forever and After? We could watch that. Is that is that the is that Shrek 5? I don't know, but it's got pussy. How, how long are they going to fucking run up Shrek? I don't know. They got to quit with that shit, though. They got to stop. You know, Billy, <laughs> Billy Bob Thornton's a cool-ass dude. He's all right. <coughs> you don't think so? Um, If you could chill with one actor, who would you want to chill with? Who's uh, the most I mean, chillable actor? I would actor? chill with him. The most chillable actor? Um, That's tough. Most chillable actor... I'm thinking, and I can't even think of fucking one. Um, I would say like uh, probably uh, what's his name? Um, Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. He might be cool to chill with. Um, or uh, Aziz Ansari. No, I'm just kidding. He's not really an actor. I would chill with Val Kilmer, even though I wouldn't be able to talk to him. Yeah, Val. Uh, of course you would. Um, I wouldn't because Val Kilmer can't talk. He has like a trachea- yeah. tracheotomy. Yeah. That's too bad. <coughs> if I could chill with Val Kilmer like before his tracheotomy, I would do that. Uh, uh, modern day? I don't know. I don't know either. Fuck them all. Yeah, they're all kind of lame. I think the I think the least chillable. Uh, can you imagine having to spend time with James Corden? Who's that? James Corden is the guy who does like the late the late night show. Oh, he's like the fat the second. fat guy. He's the fat ass who does. He he does. Oh, he, he's my least favorite person. This guy. <coughs> this guy's fucked. No, he's so fucked. This guy's fucked in half. Oh yeah, bro. Let's get him out. Let's get him. Let's get him gone. I think maybe um, him or like, uh, uh, they all are just so all of the late night show hosts. Fucking, he has a wife. I bet she's fucking. I bet she's hot, and that's the sad part. No way. Is his wife hot? Guarantee you, he has a hot wife. I mean, she's not bad. Yeah, exactly. He's fucking. He's a. He's a rich. So he can have whoever he wants. So kids. Oh, great. It's just what I needed to hear. James Corden has children. Everybody. I mean, she's not a looker, but with the makeup on, she she does it all right. She gets by. Oh, uh, I don't know. I would. I'm not not going for that. That whole string of late night hosts, like James Corden, Seth Meyers, yeah, fucking uh, who's the other one? Trevor Noah. <coughs> Those guys suck so hard. Conan and Jay Leno were a little less gay than all those guys, but they were, yeah. they were still kind of gay. Conan Conan wasn't ever really gay. Conan was actually pretty pretty funny. I didn't mind uh, John Daly. Oh, John Daly was so funny, bro. Yeah, yeah John Daly is... is he... John Oliver is all right? No, no, no. John Oliver is not all right. He sucks. John Oliver is... You bleak. call him... Yeah, yeah, we totally can. 
Um, Johnny Carson was a savage. Yeah. Johnny Carson was a savage. And uh, David Letterman, he was cool. He's cool. What do you think about um, um, who's that? Who's the radio guy? Uh, is Howard Stern. Yeah. Uh, I thought I think he was like a lot cooler when he was first starting out, but then yeah. that's probably before he got cocked by the industry, and like was made to turn gay. Because everything he does now is pretty pretty washed. I haven't caught up with him. You, you haven't caught up with him? No, I I, have, I haven't like. I haven't like uh, seen many of his new clips, or I just see bits and pieces on the internet. I mean, every clip that I see of him now, it doesn't look very. It just looks mid. Now, out of the games that you were talking, not to switch the subject, but the the GameCube games you were talking about, that you want to play. Have you beaten all of them? Mm. Have you beaten Wind Waker? I don't think I've ever beaten Wind Waker. Whoa. I think I ever beat. I watched a Let's Play, so I f I, it feels like I beat him, but I don't think I ever personally beat it. Oh, I think the yeah. first, the first I ever got on Wind Waker was like, I don't know. There was like some cave I was in, and then I just got bored. And as a, I was a kid, and I just stopped playing. And then oh, yeah. Sun Sunshine, I never beat. Sunshine, I never beat either. I never beat that game. Shadow the Hedgehog, I don't think I beat that one. Damn, maybe, maybe I beat I these games. Maybe I did. Maybe I, I don't know. And then what was the other one I mentioned? Um, it was my was Mario Sunshine, Shadow the Hedgehog, Wind Wake. Oh, and Thousand Year Door, which is another game I didn't beat. I don't think Damn. I didn't beat oh, any of those games. games bro. I, didn't, I didn't own a GameCube. That's the thing. Oh. It was uh, every time I played them, I played them at my friend's house. So now you're about to have your own personal GameCube. It was like I would go over there and and we would like mob on these games together, and then so one day I'd come over and he would like beat it or some shit, and we'd just move on to the next game. So how did you, uh, <coughs> how did you fi find out about Yuzu, the Yuzu scandal? Because I was like, I was getting excited about all this bullshit and I looked up like Nintendo emulation because I wanted to see like what kind of emulators they have. <coughs> and this is around the time that, well, this was like a week ago. So this is when I think they brought the lawsuit to Yuzu. And it, it took them, like, 11 days to settle it. Which, if y'all don't know what we're talking about, there's this, like, video game emulator called Yuzu. It emulates Nintendo Switch games. Does it? Oh, it yes. emulates Switch games. Yes. That's the problem. Yes. That's the problem. Yes. I, but I don't think you're going to be playing any Switch games. Fuck no. I don't want to play any Switch games. Um, but Yuzu is a, is a Nintendo, Swi <coughs> Nintendo that Switch emulator that you can use on the Steam Deck. And I'm sure there's, like, other emulators out there. Yeah, that, there's work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, isn't that, like, there's, like, a whole culture built around that shit. Oh, there is. But anyways, Nintendo. I used like, to get made fun of by Jet and Ben about it. I did. I used. We used to call you trans. <laughs> yeah. We used to call you trans for emulators. Yeah, you guys used to say trans. <laughs> Only trans people know how to use emulators. <laughs> yeah. I think you guys were coping because you could never figure it out. Yeah, well now I'm coming. And I'm a computer nerd, and I can figure it out. And now I'm just now I'm. I'm ready. I know how to put. I I've I've went and put mods on. N64 games. Mods on N64. Modded games? N64 games. That's. that's Read them and weep. What like big boob Mario 64? No, just like new, like Mario 64 new levels that fans make. Mario 64 nude levels. New levels. Oh, new levels. Nude I see. Levels. <laughs> We're not making Mario nude. What is it like? Um, like fan made shit? Yeah, it's like fan made like mods. Like, Are they good? Like DLC? No, they're usually, not. Usually they're not that good, but it's cool to play. Yeah, I'm uh, excited, bro. I just want to. I just want to be able to play my GameCube games. Yeah. Oh, and WarioWare naturally. Oh yeah. I'm totally copying WarioWare, which is gonna be awesome. Yeah. I don't really know, man. I didn't play any, like, early PS1. I never played PS1. I never played PS2, really. Yeah. PS2's a lot of good games. My, ki my, my kid neighbor used to have a PS2, and I'd go over to his house, and we'd play, like, what's that shit called? Midnight Club or something? Yeah, a racing game. Yeah, it was a racing Need game. Need for Speed, I think, or something like I that. I think we played Midnight Club. Yeah. And I was like, that's the only PS2 I ever played in my life was Midnight Club. There's a lot of PlayStation. And games. he was, like, an Asian kid. And his house always smelled like rice. Nice. And uh, I would go over there and 
rice it up. And he had, his house was like retarded clean. My house was not like that. <laughs> so it was a culture. Sh- it was cool though. We'd go over and we'd run midnight club down into the into the evening <laughs> into the rice into the rice. Yeah, nice. Now PS2. I never owned a PS2 either, but I didn't. I didn't. My first console I ever had was a um. Shit. Oh, my grand. My aunt used to have this like. Sony or not Sony? Fuck! Oh, it was like a Sega. It was a Sega or Sony? I think it was a Sega. Sega Classic is what it was called. I think Sega Clat. Oh. Some bullshit. Sega Genesis? Maybe it was a Sega. Gen- I Sega don't know. Saturn. It was some Sega console, and I used to play the Spider-Man game on it. And that was pretty bad. I thought that yeah, that console was pretty badass. One of the first games I ever played is Pac-Man. Oh yeah, Pac-Man's. Classic, bro. Pac-Man, so I'm so excited to play video games again. I've been like hating video games for the past like, y- like several it's years. Because everybody's trying to play these new games. I just don't. I like. I don't think I could ever get into Hell Divers. To be honest with you, no. I just don't think. I, I don't think that's for me. <coughs> I'm not playing Hell Divers. Yeah. But I mean, hats off to the devs. They did. Yeah. Aren't they making? They're making like. Hundreds of millions of dollars. Good for them. Yeah, it's pretty badass. So, yeah, also with the, that, those Pal World people. Oh, Pal World, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, that Pal World shit is pretty good. That's some pretty good shit. Yeah. Have you ever played that? No, no. I'm, no. Not, I'm not planning on playing that it either. I, I don't have any, there's no appeal for me for that. Yeah. What's the next game you want to play? Well, I just started up Shenmue. Shenmue? On the Dreamcast. That sounds very familiar. What is that about? It's uh open world ish sort of uh uh action RPG sort of th- vibe. Uh very story driven. It's great. It's one of a kind. Oh, is Okami worth playing? Probably not. I never played it. I'm probably not going to play it either, but I was thinking about maybe trying it, but I don't Trouble know. The beauty is you can download the games and try them out. Yeah, that's pretty dope, bro. That's pretty dope. Yeah, I know. What is it with your cough? Is it like shit that's it's stuck like in your tickle. throat? It's like a tickle. It used to be shit, but now I have, it's like a tickle. I have a, I have a tickle too, and I have phlegm. How do you fix the tickle, Jack? I have a feeling it's like Claritin. It could be allergies. It's, it could be. Because I have a stuffy nose as well, and I'm considering just taking Claritin D. Yeah. Which is supposedly. I the think best. we should just start injecting morphine. Ooh. Get nice and uh, stated. What, so we can just be high all day? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we should do that, Chris. Chat, what do, what do you guys do for drugs? Hopefully it's nothing because drugs are bad, and you shouldn't drink either. Yeah, and don't. You shouldn't smoke vapes. You shouldn't do it. Basically, if you see me and Chris doing something, just do the you opposite. You should just play. You should play your video games. We might have people watch. We might be, have listeners who like are straight edge. They're jacked. They eat. They eat. They eat clean. I'm sure. I'm books. sure that is the case. I'm they sure make money. They have four jobs. There's probably tons of people that watch this yeah. pod that are like that. Also, by the way, to the guy who wants to, to who asked to come on the pod, you're welcome to come on. Just DM me. Yeah, we'll figure out your flight. Yeah, yeah, I know you keep YouTube asking guy. in the comment. You've been asking like since the f- first episode, so yeah. so you, you can you're invited. If you want to come on, then sit you right can there. do it. Yeah, you have to sit next to Chris though. What do you think his name is? Dave, Tom, probably, probably I don't know John, John or Mike, maybe, little John, maybe Harold. Harold's a cool. Maybe name. he has a nickname like Mac. Mac. Like Mac Daddy. If you weren't Chris, what what would your name be? Mac. Your name would not be Mac if you weren't Mac. Chris. Are you cracking your toes? No, I'm just making a noise. Can you not do that? That's Want to see something crazy though? Not really. Are you gonna pull out your dick? No. All right. I, oh, what? You're cracking I'll your check toes. Check this out. I can make this noise with my foot. Yeah, that's impressive, Chris. You're just popping your joint. Hey guys, did you hear that? Look, I'm cracking my fingers. It's not even cracking a finger. Like once you crack the fingernail, it's done, or the 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 finger's done. I can keep doing this forever. Is that like a hell? Are you supposed to do that? 
No, it's just some something I discovered. I used to be able to do that with my thumb, but then I fixed it. Yeah, I fixed it with humans. Are so interesting. We can do. We have superpowers. We're back. Do you think? Uh, do you think Tucker Carlson does ketamine? Yeah, yeah, probably. He's pretty. Uh, he's he's pretty. Uh, actually, no, I don't spit think it out, Ben. I was gonna say he's pretty wiry, but then I'm thinking about him like, no, he's, no he's I think actually, Tucker, I think Tucker Carlson's straight edge. Oh, Tucker Carlson's very straight edge. You, you think he fucks though? He's have a wife. He has a wife and yeah. kids, right? He's yeah. Like, oh, dude, Tucker Carlson probably gets but it. But you ever see him on these podcasts? He's kind of like branching out into some like odd territory. Like, like how do you how do you mean? He was on the Theo Vaughn podcast, I think, or was it Theo Vaughn? He has a podcast. I don't know. No, Tucker Carlson went on somebody's podcast, but it was like weird. Joe Rogan? <coughs> I think it was Theo Vaughn. What did he say? Theo Vaughn. Yeah, it was. What was he talking about? They talked about like cocaine, doing a blow. And oh, like, really? And Tug Carlson was talking about how he used to do cocaine. Oh, really? So it was really, it was really wild. That's cool. I mean, Tucker Carlson. He's a human. Can, he could say what he wants. I th- he's pretty much... I think Tucker Carlson's a nice guy. He seems like a nice guy. I I trust Tucker Carlson. I don't think he's in on any weird shady shit. Yeah. Do you think uh you think that uh Donald Trump still does drugs? Well, Donald Trump claims he's never had a drink in his life and he's never had a smoke in his life. Really? Mhm. <coughs> you believe it? <coughs> I believe it. Um, you can't see Trump like popping his hand or anything. No, I mean medication wise. Well, no, 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 not medication wise. Just like popping his hand. I don't know. Probably not. He's probably. I mean, he's had countless interviews where he's like, "I've never touched alcohol." I've what if Donald Trump s- secretly drank lean when nobody else was I around? I mean, if he was prescribed for him. No, 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 no. He like has a plug. Yeah, he bought a pint. He has like a White House plug. If I was the president, I'd be pint, buying pints of lean easily. Really? Yeah. <coughs> you would know, you like, Would you do interviews with like a double cup? No. No, you wouldn't? You'd put him away? Yeah, I'm talking to Putin with a double cup. Putin would be like, what is that? I'd be like, try this. We should get a plug president. <laughs> plug president? Yeah, we should get a president who like traps. Sells drugs. If our president trapped, we'd probably have more money. I feel like... <coughs> wonder who the... Well, the founding fathers, they were, they were doing heroin and cocaine back then because you can get that shit in a bottle. Remember? Oh, yeah, but How they I, didn't... I don't think they knew what it was. I think they knew what it was. Well, uh, you could buy, like, heroin and sh- cocaine and shit medically in back then, I'm pretty sure. Really? And then uh, people must have got fucked up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were probably getting lit up like firecrackers back in those days. Yeah. Well, you know Winston Churchill. Oh, bro. He was like, what did he do? Like a drink in the morning? He, he would have some... like, a, I think it whiskey in the morning <laughs> or a, a brandy. Yeah. I think he was a brandy guy. I mean, he got a lot of shit done. Like what? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> he negotiated... The end of the, no, I'm thinking of uh, Winston Churchill. That's what we're talking about. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> he negotiated. I don't know what he did. He he did some bullshit during World War Two. Yeah. So now, what, if we had a pre- what if we had a president who had like a side hustle, like he's president but on the side he like has a clothing line. Yeah, sniffing kids' hair. <laughs> no, that's not like a that's not like a side hustle. Um, they don't need side hustles. They're so busy running the world or the country. True, yeah. Who do you think? I mean, this is election year. Who do I think is gonna win? Who you Who you banking on? Oh my god! If Trump won, would it be a, a, a W? Yes. Are you joking, dude? If Trump won, it'd be a huge W. Would you it, celebrate? Uh, would I celebrate? Yes, I'd be going out to every single bar I could find and getting as shit housed as I could possibly get. Don't go to the bars around downtown Providence. I know that. Oh my god! They'll be, they'll, they'll be closed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they will be, huh? It'll be uh it'll be a blackout day in honor of a yeah a, a rigged election probably. Yeah, I don't think Trump will win though. Unfortunately, no. I don't think he can. Who will win? 
It's not going mean, mean, to be Biden again. He won in 2020, and look, he still didn't win. <coughs> so I think it's going to be probably... I think they'll probably kill off Biden and put Kamala in there. Or... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe don't Biden will so. like. Maybe Biden will fucking pass the torch or some shit. I really don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't even know the other candidates, so I can't even. I can't even. Chime I don't in. know either. I don't care to be honest. It's all the fucking. It's it's all the same unless Trump. One of the ca- one of the Kennedys is running. Did you know that? Yeah, it's uh his nephew or his son. Yeah, it's like JFK's nephew. Uh, it's like his name is Bobby or something. Yeah, Bobby Kennedy. Maybe it's the son of. Uh, Maybe it's the son of the one Kennedy who got killed. There's like a conspiracy that uh, <coughs> it's Robert F. Ke- it's Robert F. Kennedy's son. Because Robert think- F. Kennedy's son, which is John's JFK- brother. No, no. Oh yeah, yeah. Robert think, Kennedy was John's brother. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the and one he was that like died. The, he was like the Attorney General or something. Who was the guy that? Yeah, he was the Attorney General until he was assassinated. He got assassinated too. Did you know that? Really, bro? JFK got killed and his brother got killed. Why do they do that? Because they fucking hate the they hate the Kennedys. Why? It's like they're cur- it's a cursed family. Because he married an ugly hammerhead shark looking lady. Uh, we can sh- cut we can cut that out, shoddy. That was rude. No, no, it's fine. That's compared to the other shit you said. That's fine. Jackie Kennedy. I didn't mean to be. I didn't mean to be rude, but. She's still alive. She has the she has the ability to listen to this. I actually don't know if she's still alive. Uh, I don't think she is alive, y'all. If Jack if Jacqueline Kennedy is alive, don't send this to her. Um, but her, JFK had a son. I forget his name, but his kid was like a total badass, and he was gonna run for senator the same year that Hillary Clinton was running, and uh, he died mysteriously. And Hillary Clinton won. He died in like a fucking f- like some freak accident too. Like some. That's weird how they show. go. That's how they get him. They always go in some weird ass accident, man. If I was, if I was a politician, I'd probably want to be a Clinton because I could just get away with murder. Yeah, they're 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 connected. <laughs> I don't it, know how it, or why, but there's some more shit like. Apparently the I don't know anything about this. Maybe we don't even need to talk about it. Who is who is um Oh I was reading about how Tom Hanks, the Hanks. Yeah. Their family is CIA. Oh really? Like their extended family or whatnot. Supposedly. No that doesn't surprise me in the least. Yeah, like like uh they're like feds Chet Chet Hanks, he's a fed. He's a total fed. I don't know. He might have he might have like not stopped associating with the Fed stuff, but I'm pretty sure the Hanks are fe- Feds or ex CIA, wow, something like that. But well, Tom Hanks is definitely suspect. Yeah, I mean it's pretty obvious. Why are these people going to become so suspect when they get the world in the palm of their hands? I mean, I think to get the world in the palm of your hands, you have to you be have suspect. To do some sus- suspect things, yeah, which is unfortunate. But Jenna, huh? Jenna. <laughs> Forrest Gump. Yeah, I, you know I've never watched Forrest Gump. Really? I haven't either. I don't <laughs> plan on it. I thought you would have watched that all. You because you're a, a cinephile. What, retarded? No, no, I'm not. It's because you love movies. No, I d- I don't like I don't like movies that star Tom Hanks. To be honest, <laughs> have you seen A Beautiful Mind? That's actually a pretty good movie. What about Shutter Island? Does it have Tom Hanks in it? No. All right. Actually, you might be in it, but do. You, I think Russell Crowe's in it. Yeah, two people I don't like. Um, what, Russell Crowe? No, not really. Uh, do you like you? Do you ask about Shutter Island? Yeah, yeah. I never seen it. Oh, I've seen Inception. Shutter Island's good. Inception is, Inception is also. We should watch Shutter, awesome. Shutter Island's good. Is it really? It's gas. Yeah, it's gas. From what I remember, it's gas. Okay. It's one of those movies where you're like, you're at the end, you're like. No oh. way! Really? Yeah, maybe we might have to run that tonight. I I haven't watched a movie like that, and we're talking about movies that I've seen. You ain't seen. This is different. Yeah, this is different. I haven't seen I haven't seen any of those movies. Yeah, uh, I, I saw Inception, which was like the uh, that was a good one. Inception is great. 
That was Didn't school. that have uh, what's what's your name? The girl that's the guy now, Elliot. Oh, Ellen Page. Yeah, Ellen. El- Elliot Page. Ellen Page. God, she was so beautiful in that movie too. She's so sexy. Look what she did to herself. <laughs> yeah. Shout oh. out to Elliot. Yeah, shout out Elliot. Shout out Chris for Mr. Beast. We got love for all you trannies. Yeah, we do. Um, <laughs> we sure do. Um, yeah, I, I watched. Are, I started watching a really good t- TV show that Sam kept telling me to watch, and I kept not watching it. But which one? Miami Vice. Oh yes, so good. Miami Vice is fucking. What year badass. did that come out? Uh, it's like in the eighties. I think the first season aired in eighty one or something. Uh huh. But it's so cool, bro. Damn. It's so cool. It's like it's literally. We were in Miami. I was watching. I was like, wow, I was there. Yeah. There's a there's a scene that takes place in like, you know that watch place that we went to. Yeah. The indoor. Yeah. Kind of like long, very yeah. weird. There's a shootout scene in one of those in Miami Vice. Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty gnar. Got a big booger in my nose. Just flick it on your carpet right there. That's fine. Sorry. Did you eat it? You don't eat them. Nah, I don't do that. Your no boogies. I don't be eating my boogies. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I don't. <laughs> I knew a kid that did. What for a long time? Yeah, he's retarded. Uh, yeah. He wasn't re- actually retarded, but he was like a retard. He was like he, <laughs> he was, was like a retarded. retarded. Yeah. Um, I've I've I, but like I'm talking about eating boogers at tw- age 21. I I used to know an autistic or autistic a da- a girl with Down syndrome. Have yeah. I told this story? No. Um. Yeah. Oh, the one that used to chase me around. Yeah, with, with the boogers in her. With the boogers nose, in her yeah. nose. Yeah. Good yeah. for her. I could dox her right now if you I wanted. Dox her. <laughs> I could dox her ass. She still lives in the. How do you know she? Li- oh, she probably lives with. Her she probably lives with her parents. She's she has Down syndrome. I looked up Down syndrome symptoms just because I wanted to see like how you even describe someone with Down syndrome. And they go, their face is flat around the bridge of the nose, and they have almond-shaped eyes that slant upwards. Sounds like an Asian person. <laughs> it sounds like an Asian feature, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, that's... Uh, how would you describe, like, if, like, if you the had downs, your- Honestly, the, you know how I found out about Down syndrome thing? Hmm. I was talking to my dad, and I was, like, a little kid. I was, like, 10 or something. I was, like, Dad, like... How come those people like I pointed to one at an amusement park? I was like, how the, how come those people all look the same? Like they have that certain face. <laughs> and then he said, uh, oh, they have like special needs. It's called like Down syndrome. I was like, oh, because I thought it was just these people that all looked the same. You know, they all. Have yeah, you look. thought it was like a different race. Something like that. I was yeah. a kid. I was like, I don't I know. So I was like, what? You, you know, I'm, I'm like, you know, what I'm talking about dad. Like, yeah. It's like they all like have that look about them and he's like yeah you know he explained it but i was like whoa were you did your heart start to break as a child yeah and then i was like is santa real <laughs> and he's <laughs> and he's like no son no no son by oh, the way we're, bro. We're, our, me and mom are getting a divorce really yeah this is all one day all at six like, flags heart. all at six flags damn especially at disney all at disney they're like yeah, that's a Down syndrome. Like on the, the roller coaster. By the shit. way, this is not your fault, and we love you very much. But, but we're getting daddy, a divorce. Mommy and daddy don't love each don't other love anymore. Each other anymore doesn't mean we don't love you, but we're going to separate. separate. And also, yes, those kids—they all have They've special needs. Syndrome. And you're going to be having a very different Christmas this year. Also, you're going to be man of the house now. You're going to be man of the house here because I'm moving. I'm moving away. And also, you can't ride this ride. You're too short. <laughs> Sit in the car. No air conditioning. Yeah. And oh, man. Man. well, you know, I think I always just kind of had a hunch that these people were different. Oh yeah. I would see them and I go, "That's somebody that needs my help." And run over to into action. Like, Can I do anything to help you? Nope. <laughs> they would be like, "No." Just give them. Just give them. Give them a high five. Like, Can I give you a hug? Yeah. <laughs> um, and on that note On that note we're going to switch to the Patreon Alright guys peace Peace thank you Love you Thank you <laughs>